All right, so we are going on a tour in a spin to the cities and to the towns in the cities that have colleges in them that are surrounding Hanford, of which there's quite a few. So we're going to Moscow, Idaho on February 6th, and then we're going, and we are going to culminate after spinning around the Columbia Basin, up to Spokane, over to Omak, over to Ellensburg, Washington, down to Hermiston, Pendleton, Walla Walla. In one closer. weekend? No, this is a six-week tour. I'm leaving next week, and I hope everybody who wants to will join me. And uh, we're, we're looking for reggae bands to join us, all kinds of reggae musicians. And uh, we are going to bring a reggae dance concert with all kinds of papers and leaflets and handouts to the town. Then the next day, at the community center, be presenting all day long uh, um, information about why Hanford Nuke should be shut down, as well as... Um, a pro solar, the solar circus of the sea for children to learn solar energy, how to gather, how to capture the sun, and then um, a talk and all the information from both Washington and Oregon on the um, tax tax write-offs for um, uh, going solar and putting a windmill in your place. So going renewable and shutting down the nukes. But the main thing is we need to have everybody know about this report about the earthquake safety because they are in danger and they need to demand of their senators and representatives the immediate shutdown of the Columbia Generating Station due to this unsafe status of it. That if this earthquake happens, and there's a, at least one earthquake of a medium size, 3.5, every year there, but they don't report it in the news. I, and uh, 3.5, 3.8, and it's happened sometimes twice a year. Those are small ones. Stop, booping. And then there's the... Um, big one, 9.2, that could totally shake it up, break it up, explode this <coughs> stuff up into the air, and the winds will carry it to any of these cities, and then across America. And when it hits the Bitterroot What Mountains, if it wasn't a 9.2? What if it was like, say, a 6.0 or 7? Is that enough to shake it up? Well, it, the 9.2 is off the um, Oregon coast. Yeah, but what if it, it wasn't a 9.2? Let's say right. there was like a 6.5 or Evidently 5. Evidently it is, uh, but um, people should all go to the PSR yeah. report. And they can look at the Seattle Times. There was a good article written about this report, so it's a little more digestible. When was it written? Um, about two months ago. Okay. When that report came out. Okay. So it was like I'll make an effort and try to get the link. This I'll, I'll look out. for the link, and if I can find it, I'll put it on. Yeah, it was maybe September, or October okay. that the report came out. And anyways, um, uh, Nuke Info Project and uh, the School of Earth the Arts with the Solar Circus of the Sea is putting this uh, event on along with our island's conservation center of the Marshall Islanders who began this. And the whole thing is beginning actually on the first anniversary of Fukushima Day, Thaston Rigdon Ricklin and his uh, Marshall Island friends along with residents of uh, the um, Hanford area joined up with us and Native American, there's like eight Native American reservations, tribes, I don't like to say the reservation name, but anyways, they are in the same basin. In between each of those cities I was talking about is pretty much a reservation and we're going to be staying there in between the cities. Hmm. And we're, we are joining with a Native American Protection Alliance that has been forming called Shawl um, and um, with the Spokane tribe initiated it. On the north side. Please stop. Boobs. Betty Boobs, go on. Hurry up, Mama. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, Nuke Info Project. Um, my phone number is 541-912-9136. Please call me if you're interested in joining the tour. Uh, we're looking for musicians and uh, we participants and, and participants of all sorts. And if you know anybody in any of these towns in the Columbia Basin. They should come and bring their friends. And uh, this will all be on a website of Nuke Info Project. And I don't remember exactly how it is, but it will be available to Lonnie very soon. Okay. Bye, YouTubers.